education. I'm all set. I have done enough. Those are sentiments when learning opportunities come up. However, the saying says, the sky is the limit does not pertain to you guys. You are to aim higher than the stars. You are to plant a seed in every situation of your career and life. This is the beginning of your legacy. Don't let others dictate and define you. You dictate and define your legacy. There are going to be times in which you are going to be discouraged, scared, and burnt out. There are going to be times of achievements and celebrations. Like I always told you guys, the sun will rise and set with or without you. My dear LPN students, aim higher than the sky and make an imprint on others for years to come through your legacy. I wish you the best. Thank you, Ms. Roman. We are going to proceed now into the awards section of the program. My little stash down here. You want to stand? Just hold them and I will announce. As I announce your name for the um, awards, first I'd like to just say that these awards were chosen by the faculty. Uh, they received a list of all of the graduates and they selected students graduates rather, sorry, it's hard to get used to not saying students anymore. Um, they selected those who met some of the criteria for these awards. Um, the first awards we're going to be giving out are for clinical excellence, for outstanding performance and contributions to client care. For days, the first recipient is James Santiago. He has a broken leg. Can you walk oh, down to him? He has an injury. That's why Miss Miranda is coming to him. <laughs> Our next recipient, also from Days, is Melanie Walsh. From Evenings, our first recipient is Whitney Covell. Congratulations. And our second recipient is Kathleen Sands. Congratulations. Our next award is a leadership award for exemplifying qualities of a true leader. The first recipient from days is Natalie Brayson. Congratulations. And Natalie, if you'd come stand over here for a second. And our next recipient for evenings is, I'm going to try to say it right, Tanya Kurakovic. I ask these two ladies to please stand here for a moment. 
because our next award is Highest Comprehensive Predictor Score Award, and the recipients are, for days, Natalie Brayson, and for evenings, Tanya Korakovic. And our last awards of the evening is the Director's Award. This is in recognition of your commitment to being an out, to out student, outstanding student performance. For days, Bobby Sear. Congratulations. And for evenings, Samantha Stein Tucci. Congratulations. We will now be starting the awarding of diplomas. You'll be directed, we have some ushers down there who will be helping to direct you. As you enter the stage, just so everyone knows where we're going, as you enter the stage, you're going to come on this side, you'll receive your diploma, and then please turn and face your audience and flip your tassel from the right side to the left side once you've received your diploma, okay? You're going to then exit, so it should be on the right side right now, <laughs> okay? Just think when you left Lincoln Tech, you move it to the left, okay? So. You're going to have uh, escorts on the other side of the stage that will be helping escort you back to get ready for your pinning ceremony. Please hand me your card as you enter the stage. I don't know who's going first. What? Who's first? Yeah, there we go. So can you move? walk that way a little bit. I'm going to announce and you're going to help pass out diplomas and then we'll just switch. Is this evening? Is, I mean, is this evening? Oh, here, swap with me. Shabon Littleton. Shabon Littleton. Jamila Smart. Kimberly Colon. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay. Amber Nixon. Shara Randolph. Nardaline Bramwell. Desaline Jarek. Desaline Jarek. Jensen Santiso. Yes. Jensen Santiso. Mitchell Osborne, right? Go ahead. Mitchell Osborne. Mamali. Mamali Bekutari. Serena Lokoto. <laughs> Serena Lokoko. Kimberly Smalls. Whitney Covell. Shannon Woodward. Woodward. Mm -hmm. Shannon Woodward. Andrew Egley. Andrew Egley. Rosanna White. Rosanna White. Rebecca Garza. 
Rebecca Darko. Ashley Vieira. Jasmine Moreno. Ashley Cuadrato. Sofia Soto. Sofia Soto. Samantha Stein Tusi. Samantha Stein Tusi. Jennifer Ascata. Lopez. Jennifer Ann Lopez. Faith Okuwe. Kelsey Kevin Lee, right? Kelsey Kevin Lee. Alisa Jackman. Jessica Lee. <laughs> Ashley Varga Vega. Tanya Pura Kovic. Yes. <laughs> India Maria. India Maria Nazario. Andre Mays. Charlene Shepard. Kathleen Sands. Aliyah Johnson. I'm just waiting. Kazmaine Clark. Shamara Christian. Grace Alberta Bima Brabi. Alicia, Alicia, see you made me guess one. Alicia Yard. Samantha Gray. Kazu. Julie Kazu. Bobby Sear. Abigail Cassidy. Anna Isabel Limpias. Davilis Villanueva. Michael Green. Treasure Ransom. Camille Lawson. Nicole McKenzie. Chris Ann James. Jermina Modest. Natalie Brayson. 
Nicolene Williams. Marlene Dwyer. Cassandra Belanger. Sana Syed. Tashina Knight. Karen Valencia. Luis Vega Figueroa. Carlos Diaz. James M. Santiago. Selena Benson. Jasmine Muniz. Lashane Whitaker. Marler Walters. Zakia Tubal. Rihanna Daly. Justice Santiago. Alexis Brito. Shannon Rodriguez. Tashima Callender. Melina Quiles. Melanie Walsh. Davida McCalla. Janelle Washburn. Joseph Aviles Rivera. Elizabeth Howell. Selena Mata. I just said it. Nardia Hamilton Rankin. Hillary Kelsey. Victoria Lee Irizarry. Kimberly Durso. Samara Gomez. Lisa Diaz. Jasmine Pollard. Noang Sokal. Vicky Valverde. Christopher Ingram. Shasha Wilson. Cheyenne Williams. Samantha Serrano. Julia Lizbeth Rivera. Joyce Lynn Williams. Victoria Williams. Kayla Cooper. Destiny London. Nyla Howell. Jada Coley. 
Aaliyah Bird. Stephanie Ferguson. Tori Moses. As the graduates leave the auditorium, please remain seated. They will be processing back down the aisles any moment now for the pinning ceremony, which will be in approximately four or five minutes. Can you see if it's easy? Tell them to wait, wait. As the graduates enter, if we can please have silence at this time. As the graduates enter, thank you. I'm gonna ask, uh, Daniel to come forward for the Florence Nightingale story, please, as the graduates are entering. Right, we'll proceed. Okay. Yeah. 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 
Very good. Very good. Okay, so anybody still don't see anything up here? Just come on up. Lauren. At this time, I'll be introducing Mr. Daniel Aviles, class of 2020, Lincoln Tech, New Britain, to read the story of Florence Nightingale and the significance of the lamp lighting and the pinning that they'll be having tonight. Good evening to everybody. First of all, congratulations to the staff who worked so hard and poured their heart into the, the alumni, the new grads. Congratulations to the families who supported it and went through this journey with us. Congratulations, nurses. You all deserve that title. Good job. In the first week of class, you learn about a special nurse. Her name was Florence Nightingale. I know you learned that because that, that, that's the first week of class. And that's why they ask you, what do you want to do as a nurse? What motivated you? However, her influence was so great that till this day, we still celebrate her birthday on May 12th. That's the International Nurses Day. Florence Nightingale was known as the lady with the lamp because during the War of Crimean, she went through the fields at night with a lamp similar to the ones you have now. Of course, not battery powered, but small detail. But she went through the fields looking for people that were wounded so she could treat and help heal. She later went to open up her own school. And from that institution, we received this beautiful, and I would dare to say solemn ceremony we're having right now. She would give to her graduates a medal, that's the pin. It's a res it, it, it is a representation of your school and the, all the hard work you did to become a nurse. It is a tribute to Florence, for nurse, uh, uh, to our founder, Florence Nightingale, who presented medals of excellence to ex exemplary nurses, graduates, at the nursing school she established in St. Thomas Hospital in London. The lamp that you hold tonight represents of Nightingale's rounds at night and her dedication to our clients and patients on the field of nursing. She would light a lamp and pass the flame to the graduates of her nursing classes. This lightning, lighting of the lamps exemplifies or represents the knowledge that is passed from your instructors to you. The pledge, oh, the pledge, emphasizes the following principles of responsibility, confidentiality, accuracy, accountability, faithfulness, devotion, quality, and learning by example. We promise to do no harm practice discretion, and be dedicated to our profession. I just want to be the first to say, welcome aboard, you nurses. I look forward to working with you. I am happy to call you my colleagues. And if any of you in the future become my boss, please give me a raise. 
Good luck with coming ahead. Thank you, Daniel. And a proud father who has his daughter as one of the lamp holders out here tonight, graduate as well. At this time, we will be having, we have already announced all of the names. What we will be doing quietly is having students come up one at a time and move across the stage. I believe evenings is lined up first. As they go across, they will go to one of the instructors that is open from evenings to pin them and have, please feel free to take a picture while they're having their pin, okay? Their pinning moment. Once days starts, then we'll have them switch with the day's instructors to pin the daytime students or graduates, okay? We can proceed with the first coming up across the stage and then follow the usher out to the other side of the stage, please.
At this time, if the daytime instructors can please step forward for pinning, and I'll have the evening instructors be seated. And if we can please try to keep the volume down so that we can continue on with the pinning ceremony. Thank you very much.
If everyone can please take a seat as our last graduate is pinned. If everyone can please have a seat again as our graduates have finished the pinning ceremony and are about to take their pledge. I'll wait for everybody to be seated. Okay, everybody, we're going to now have all of our graduates be led in saying the Practical Nursing Pledge, led by Ms. Roman. You guys, you will repeat after me. Before God and those assembled here, I solemnly pledge. To adhere to the code of ethics of the nursing profession. to cooperate faithfully with the other members of the nursing team, and to carry out faithfully and to the best of my ability the instruction of the physician, or the nurse who may be assigned to supervise my work. I will not do anything evil or malicious And I will not knowingly give any harmful drug or assist in malpractice. I will not reveal any confidential information that may come to my knowledge in the course of my work. And I pledge myself to do all in my power to raise the standards and prestige of practical nursing. May my life be devoted to service and to the high ideals of the nursing profession. Thank you, graduates. Thank you, nurses. Welcome. Welcome to nursing. If I can have... At this time, at this time, please, at this time, I'd like to first thank my Assistant Director of Nursing, Ms. Ada Miranda, who oversees the evening program. And I'd like to introduce our campus president, Ms. Tina Cinchetti, for our closing remarks before we exit the auditorium. If everyone could be seated, please, so we can close the ceremony. Good evening, everyone. As I was thinking about the message I wanted to take home with you tonight, I thought about a quote I heard from Deshana Barber. She was a captain in the U.S. Army Reserves who was told she was beautiful enough to be Miss America. It took her five tries, but eventually she won. She said, do not feel fear, fear failure, but please be terrified of regret. I spent the first 18 years of my career at Lincoln as a director of admissions. I know how hard it was for many of you who were nervous to pick up the phone or request information online to take that first step to begin your new career. But you did it. You got yourself through that fear and you made it here tonight. When you started your journey with us, 
You talked about the sacrifices you would have to make, such as making sure you have proper child care and transportation, and you weren't going to work too much, although you're going to have to still keep all the bills that you originally had and get through school. Think about all you went through during your time with us. You should be so proud of yourself to be sitting here tonight because unfortunately, not everyone you started school with finished. The obstacles that got in their way, you overcame. Sometimes it's easier to quit and give up rather than fight through it. If you remember at orientation, I told you to put your graduation date where you would see it, like on the visor of your mirror or in your bedroom on your mirror, or the visor of your car, I meant to say. Well, that day is today, and you did it. Be proud you fought through those obstacles and made it here tonight. Remember this day and how you are feeling in this moment. Keep it in the back of your mind when you are faced with a challenge. You can overcome whatever comes your way. No regrets. Every one of us has a naysayer, that person who tells you you can't. Not only could you, but you did. Do me a favor, make sure you seek out your naysayer and tell them that you did. <laughs> now is your time to start your new chapter. Graduates, I have one ask of you before you leave tonight. More importantly than anything you learned from a textbook at Lincoln, I ask that when you leave here, you work with the highest ethical standards and to always remember to teach your pa treat your patients and their families with the utmost kindness and compassion as you are their caregiver. You are a Lincoln Tech graduate. Congratulations on your well-deserved accomplishment. Thank you, everybody. That concludes our ceremony for tonight. And congratulations once again from all of us here.